To draw the voltage along the transmission line, it helps if we defined where z equals zero is located. Where is our origin, our coordinate system origin? We could put our coordinate system anywhere, at the load, we could have z equals zero, at the generator, or somewhere in the middle, or anywhere else. Where do you think it would be most convenient? That's the best place to put our z equals zero spot. You can pause the video if you like. It might make the most sense to put z equals zero at the generator, because z equals zero would then mark where the initial wave starts propagating down the transmission line when the switch closes at time t equals zero. And in fact, this is typically what is done when we analyze transmission lines in the time domain. After the switch closes, we have a constant voltage applied to the end of the transmission line on the left. As long as the switch is closed, VG will still be the voltage at the beginning of the transmission line. And as time evolves, because the transmission line is lossless, the voltage wave should propagate down the transmission line at a constant amplitude. We'll call the amplitude of this voltage wave V1 plus. So the one labels that this is the first voltage wave after the time t equals zero and the switch is closed. And the plus sign labels that this is a voltage wave propagating in the positive z direction. This means we have a step function propagating down the transmission line and the amplitude of that step function is v1 plus, which is equal to vg in this case. After t seconds, the leading edge of the wave will have propagated a distance of upt. meters. You can check this by making the units work out. UP is units of meters per second, and time is in units of seconds, so then you end up with meters. And since there is air around the conductors, the electric and magnetic fields will be propagating through the air, so UP is about equal to the speed of light. So here is the axis for our voltage wave, and if we put all this together, we have a constant voltage traveling down the transmission line. It goes to a distance after t seconds. It goes to z equals upt, which in our case is about equal to c times t, and this is propagating in the positive z direction. Putting all this together, this is a nice cleaner version to look at it. And because the voltage wave will be accompanied by a current wave, in this plot, in this, well not the plot, but in the diagram of the transmission line, I put, uh, went ahead and labeled the I1 plus current wave, which would be traveling at the same speed as the voltage V1 plus wave. I used a computer to solve the telegrapher's equations for this type of scenario. On the bottom of this slide, I have a video of the voltage versus time for this transmission line. Here I am assuming that Vg is equal to 1. At time t equals 0, the generator is connected to the lossless transmission line, 